All right, welcome to Food for Health. My name is Cheryl McWilliams. I'm a wellness specialist here at Midcoast Parkview Health. We're glad that you're here. I'm so excited because summer is coming. We're feeling these warmer temperatures and the sun is finally out. And my family really likes ice cream. And fortunately, that's what uh, Lynn is going to demonstrate for us tonight is a little bit of ice cream, something special that you can make when the hot summer days come. And um, I understand that Tim kind of likes ice cream too. <laughs> so these two are going to tag team and I'm excited for the outcome. Thank you. So uh, at the office today, they had a, a special uh, employee appreciation day and the ice cream truck came <laughs> and they handed out free ice cream to everybody. And I didn't get any because I knew I was going to have something better tonight. <laughs> and uh, this is not low calorie, but it is healthy enough to be an entree. Uh, so um, when you eat it, um, don't say, well, this is bad for me. I better not eat much. You can say, I can enjoy this. And um, well, I hope you enjoy And if you don't enjoy it, uh, just don't take a second uh, helping and I'll have what's left. Uh, so, uh, let's see. So I'll Do bring we, you your things. We need some, uh, if we start with some frozen bananas. You want to have your bananas nice and ripe uh, because uh, when they're ripe, they, it makes the ice cream sweeter. If they're green, you're going to have uh, rather uh, um, not very sweet ice cream and you just kind of break them up in a blender like that and we have two that are pretty new and two that aren't so new but they'll still taste good they are, yeah they're good. so we'll break those up and put them in there and you need about three if they're smaller you might take more and then for sweetener we put in some dates and dates taste really sweet right but they actually have a glycemic index of 42, which is really good. So uh, they won't push your blood sugar up when you eat them. And uh, we'll put in four dates. That should be enough. We and, used to uh, make small amounts of maple syrup. And of course, you can use that too. But after we it use- It tastes good. It seems that the dates maybe make it taste even better. And- uh, is that a fourth That's cup? That's a fourth cup. Okay, and then you put in a fourth cup of carob powder. Now, why not chocolate? Well, you could use chocolate, uh, but carob is um, a little higher in calcium, and it doesn't have caffeine in it, and uh, it tastes good, and it doesn't need any sweetener, uh, so it ends up uh, sweeter. And you can put in a teaspoon of peppermint flavor, if I can get the lid off. So, dearie, I want to talk to you about that. So I use this one. Okay, we'll use but this one. it seemed kind of powerful. Well, uh, so then I... I'll use this one. <laughs> but I got to get the lid off. Let's see if I can get a paper yeah, that, towel. That's why I use this one. <laughs> okay, should have brought my pliers. <laughs> there, we got it. And you need a teaspoon. That looks like a big teaspoon. That looks very big to me. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it that's says right. it's a five mLs, and that's a teaspoon. But we're going to put a little less in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. About a teaspoon of peppermint, and then uh, you need about a cup of um, peanut butter, or three fourths of a cup of peanut butter. Do you have a spoon, or shall I guess? Uh, just any old spoon will do. There we go. So anybody that's good at measuring uh, three-fourths of a cup looks about right, doesn't it? Maybe a little more. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. You want to lick the spoon? Um, and uh, then you uh, add in three cups of uh, soy milk. Now we're going to be talking about soy tonight. And you want to shake that soy milk to get the isoflavones up in it. And uh, then you add about three cups. Could you use um, 
oat milk and spit and stuff. You could, but I wouldn't use oat milk if I was lecturing on soy, would I? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, so really. You can, you can use almond milk. You can use all different types of oat milk. The, um, Make your own peanut butter like I do. Oh, yeah, peanut butter, you can make your own. Yeah. That probably ought to do. Yeah, you don't want to make it the same every time because then there's no adventure. Um, so I think that's all the ingredients. Now, you're going to chop the almonds to add in later? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, it'll work. <laughs> sounds pretty good and um, that's all you do except you put it in the ice cream freezer if we can get the uh, freezer out we have a Cuisinart you don't have to have that kind any kind that works will do and uh, you just put that in drop that in and uh, turn it on and pour this in it's that fast it looks like there's some lumps of dates in here that didn't get blended up, but that won't affect the flavor any. Someone will just get a date. Um, that wasn't hard, was it? And if you use frozen bananas, it'll be uh, ready in about uh, 15 minutes. And, uh, Cheryl was thinking, Jerry, that we'll, we'll pass out the samples when you're finished with your lecture. Oh, okay. So that way we'll have... Um, do you have a spoon? Someone ought to, you know, I don't want to waste this. No, not that kind. Just a, a, a rubber spatula or something. Some parts, Man, what's a kitchen with no spoons? Have you heard of something like that before? I don't know. Dear, did you see that I had this here? <laughs> yeah, but that won't work. It's hard. Who wants to try it? You want to try it? No. All right, finish that up. <laughs> okay. So if we're going to pass these out afterwards, do you have a knife? I'm looking for one. Okay, we're looking for a knife. Anybody want to donate some money for a knife for the demonstration kitchen? I think someone went home with our knives. They're coming. So that's kind of noisy. We're going to move it so that you can hear. Uh, once we, uh, we've got a pocket knife to cut our almonds. No, no, we can do better than that. Um, look at that. All right, we're, we're cooking now. Uh, you don't have to put almonds chopped into here, but I like uh, nuts in my uh, ice cream. This is not a chopping knife, but it kind of works. You need one with a little bit more curve to it. How was that? That's good. You're going to stay for the real sample now? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Almonds uh, are a good nut. They don't have phytoestrogens in them, but they're rich in calcium. And uh, so uh, they're a good source of calcium if you're worried about your bones, which is a good thing. Uh, any questions about my ice cream? Oh my, now we're cooking. We've got a real knife. Yeah. Any questions about? the ice cream. Pretty simple, isn't it? Now, you don't have to make it this way. You can uh, branch out. Sometimes I don't put carob in it. You can put just, you can use almond milk and almond butter and almonds and almond uh, um, flavoring instead and make a triple almond ice cream. You can use black cherries and I like that. Um, and that's really good. Uh, so the basic thing to keep in mind is the nut butter 
of your choice and the bananas. Uh, if you want to splurge a little bit, you can make a pina colada ice cream. And instead of uh, regular, um, instead of peanut butter, you use uh, coconut milk. Uh, but that's a little harder on your cholesterol, remember, because coconut is a saturated fat. But it makes a delicious ice cream. And um, with the coconut, and pineapple, you just add, you blend up the pineapple with the bananas, uh, but um, you don't have to add chopped nuts to that. All right. Just that simple. Come on up, folks. Make a line. Thank you, ladies. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.